in 2002, I had this idea, I'm gonna make a trailer for a movie but not make the movie. And so suddenly the piece of it that's sort of now grown the most and become the most prominent is this actual real League of Space Pirates band. A friend of mine named Carlos Colazzo came to me, he was making music and I really liked what he was doing and was like not using his music anywhere. And so I said, well, why don't you give me the songs? I'll write lyrics and I'll record them and, and produce them and put them out on record form. And he went, okay, that's great. But then I had some friends who were like, are you ever gonna play shows? So some people said, we'll play in your band. Musically, we're not at all like Guar, but it's interesting because we come from the same city as Guar. So there's something about Richmond too that I think is fueling projects like this, where there's the space in the city that allows for this kind of creativity. The goal was to create a universe that allowed other people to play in it as well and give people a reason to make whatever their passion was. So one of the ways the project worked is that I partnered with my friend Georgi Kuznetsov and he actually came to me looking to expand his portfolio as a motion graphics artist. I showed him some graphics, I told him a general storyline of what we're doing, but he gave me pretty much a finished product. When I was a kid, there were these great storybook records where it was a record and a little comic book that came with it. And since vinyl has sort of had a resurgence recently, I realized there was a market for it. So I commissioned local comic book artists to create a comic book version of our songs using the lyrics as the dialogue. So Matt Deans, Meg Gandy, and James Callahan were all working on that. They're local comic book artists. If you have eyes and ears, you can use the book and record. And you get it all for the amazing low price of just $19.99 Galactic Credit. If I don't make things that I'm passionate about, if I run towards the money, it's not gonna work. So if I make what I love, I'm going to find other people who love it, and eventually that may turn into a career. Right now, it's just for fun.